Hello, this is just a little video to help you um, know what to do to get into Alex. So Alex is where you're going to be completing a lot of your assignments. You're going to be doing some tutorials there and taking quizzes and half of your test. So it's a very important program and part of your grade. So to go into Alex, we're going to click over here to the left. The only thing that you need to know using this link is your access code. And that's the code that came along with your book when you purchased it. Okay. Um, if you don't have an access code and you're not able to purchase one in the next week or so, then you need to let me know. There is an opportunity for a two-week free trial if uh, you qualify. So just send me an email, let me know if that's something that you need. Otherwise, if you can get it, go ahead and get it now. It makes things a lot easier and quicker. But anyway, if you've got your access code, you're going to click this link. Don't go in any other way because then you're going to have to use a course ID and all that. So it's really easiest for you to click here because it's all, I've already got the course linked for you. So once you click the Alex eText, um, you're going to be able to get into Alex and then you can also access your eText through here. So that's important. And we're going to click Alex. Now somewhere in here you're going to have to enter an access code. I'm not sure exactly where. Um, and this is my screen so I'm going to switch to your view. But like I said, I'm not sure exactly where you're going to have to put the access code probably before you get to this. Um, but it will ask you for some information there so you'll fill out your name and all that good stuff your email please use your school your Johnson Community College email that's very important that's how I'm gonna be reaching you so you need to be re checking that email every day anyway uh, and it's nice you know keep all your school stuff in one email don't worry about it become popping up in your personal space so um, you probably won't see this screen but I'm gonna enter student view and this is what things are going to look like for you. So first it's going to go through some little instructions here. So you can actually read through those. And then it's got some little pop-ups that will tell you how to access stuff, your main menu, notifications. And this little area over to the left suggests what you do next. So when you've got an assignment or um, something that you need to complete, an objective, then it'll be listed over to the left. Notice there's not any objectives listed there yet. The reason for that is because it wants you to go through a tutorial and a pretest first. So the tutorial will take you a few minutes. And what it does is it tells you how to uh, enter your problems for the most part, enter your answers very important it can be particular so like this one says enter keyboard um, if you need to clear it you click here if you need to undo you can click there and the next one tells you how to enter a fraction and it'll tell you how to graph lines and all that good stuff so that when you actually get to your objectives you're going to know how to put in your answers if you don't know how to put in your answers well it's not going to do you any good um, so you want to go through this so you don't have to worry about it later. It'll take you a few minutes. I'm going to skip it for now. And then it's going to pop back up to our main screen. After we hit continue there. And the next thing on your agenda is to do a knowledge check. Please excuse the kitty. She wants to go outside and I'm not letting her. Um, she's, she's meowing. Meow. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so this knowledge check is another very important thing. This will take you about 45 minutes to do, I hear. And, but what it is, is it's kind of like a pretest. 
So you'll go through here and the stuff that you know how to do, it's going to actually take that into account when you're going through your objectives. So if there's things you already know how to do, it's not going to make you do a lot of work on that um, when you go through the course. So, you know, if you feel like you already have a good understanding for pre-calculus algebra, then this is a excellent tool. Um, it can go ahead and test you out of objectives. Very, very nice. Even if you're not sure, go ahead and do it. It can still test you out of, of a few things. So I'm just going to show you where to go here. It's going to give you some tips. Okay, and it's going to say, if you don't know, you can click the I don't know button, and that'll take into account that you don't know how to do it. Um, you don't even need to try, because if you don't know, um, even guessing will not benefit you in the long run. Okay, you want to, if you don't know how to do it, you need the tutorials in the future. And then there's a calculator over here and all. So let's see. So it's going to go through and it's going to ask you some questions. Okay, um, if you need a calculator, there's one over here to the right. You can just um, click the buttons just like you would on any normal calculator and hit equals and use your answers to help you over here. If you don't know, you can click right here and it says it'll take that into account. And when you're ready to submit, you click here. Of course, I didn't feel anything. I'm going to go ahead and skip this because, well, you don't want me on here talking for 45 minutes, right? Okay, so, and if you are positive, if you are absolutely positive, you don't know anything about pre-calculus algebra, or you know that you want to review everything and not have anything um, already taken care of to begin with, then you can skip this. But like I said, if you know anything, it's good to do it. Um, so we're going to click that we have little knowledge of pre-calculus um, because I want everything to show up for you. And that's what you would click if you are going to, in fact, skip it. Okay, so you've got a pie here. It says the shaded part of each slice shows you what you know. And then other thing, you know, if there's a gray area, then that's something you don't know. So it kind of gives you an idea of um, what you've already completed. So it'd be nice to see that pie fill up. And sorry, it got me some master things on here. I'm not sure why, but okay, whatever. Okay, so when you're ready to start, then the first thing you're going to do is, uh, first thing in the course is set builder and in interval notation, showing you how to um, answer things in set builder notation and interval notation. And so, get past this, select a slice, yeah, that's nice. You can go through all this. Um, gosh, don't let me do anything. Got it. Okay, so you can start and it'll take you to the first section, R1, R2, and you can get started on your work there. Let's see what it does. So it's got some instructions, and um, this is basically telling you how to work the problems. What is set interval notation? So along with my videos, you can use this to help you out. And so um, it's got an example every, and everything like that. And then it'll go through and it'll give you some problems. And if you get a problem wrong, it'll give you another one. There's things over here to the right. There's instructor resources. So here you can see um, some videos that the book has installed for you that you can use um, to help you out if you don't understand something. Uh, we didn't need a calculator here. So there's videos also. Here's your ebook. So you could link to that and pull up your ebook. 
you don't understand a word, you can look it up, that type of thing. So let's see, how do I get out of here? Oh, another little tab here gives you the information that you haven't learned yet. Um, and you can click on these if you want to skip set builder notation and go back later. You can click on the next one and go to that. Now, if something is needed as a prerequisite, then up here in the top right hand corner there will be a little lock. So you wouldn't be able to go forward to that until you've completed some other things here. So let's see. To get to your assignments, you'll click on assignments and there's nothing listed here because there's nothing open yet. But you'll have a quiz to do at some point um, in your first week. So you can see the other things over here. Here's a calendar. So you can see you have a quiz that opens today, assuming you're watching this on the first day of class, and that it is open until, let's look at a month at a time, until next Wednesday. So you'll have to complete it by next Wednesday, and then there will be another quiz open. Okay, so over here also you can look at your grade book. So once you've got some assignments done, it will tell you what your grades are. You can create a report that will um, give you some information if you like. And then you can un access some other resources over here. So we're going to go back to home. And that, I believe, should, there's more help and everything over here. That should conclude our introduction to Alex.